Hello YouTubers, sorry I haven't um, uploaded anything regarding crop circles for a while but I thought I'd tell you something about a conspiracy which I've been reading up on lately which you may or may not know. Um, basically cars can run on two types of fuel and that's not unleaded or diesel um, or unleaded or four star, we're talking about a different type of fuel altogether which was the original fuel that cars were made to actually run with. Now because of the conspiracy to overwrite history, um, a lot of people seem to have forgotten this. But if you go back to the turn of the century, all cars were run on alcohol. So your original Ford cars would have been run on alcohol. And the beauty of this was that alcohol was freely makeable. Um, people could just make it out of um, you know, uh, household food waste, or they could make it out of um, uh, farm materials grown on the land. So they could make it out of crops. And uh, of course, because fuel was able to be made like this, it was a very popular choice for people like farmers to make their own fuel. And if you ever were out in the countryside and you needed a bit of fuel, you didn't have to worry about finding a petrol station. You just had to find anybody who had a farm and say, can I have some of your alcohol, please? And they would say, yep, sure. And they'd pour you out some alcohol, stick it in the car and off you go. Now, petrol came along as an alternative to alcohol, but a lot of people were resistant to using it because it was dirty it used to clog up your um, car's oil system so it used to make the oil dirty and it was basically an abrasive um, uh, an abrasive fuel which meant that the engines wore out quicker also um, it was classed as an inferior fuel because it didn't have the same power as alcohol did so from a performance point of view alcohol was better now because all original cars around the turn of the century um, you know were uh, were classed as alcohol fueled. Um, if you wanted to use the lower grade petrol, they actually had a little switch in them. So you could switch the timing of your uh, spark plugs, you could switch it over to a slightly different setting, and um, then the petrol would work. And if you put alcohol back in, you'd turn it back to alcohol and your engine would run fine. Um, it would rough run otherwise if you didn't have the right setting. But what people don't realize is that um, alcohol was gotten rid of as part of a conspiracy. Um, one of the Rockefellers, I don't know, Nathan or bloody um, Satan Rockefeller or who, whatever his name is, um, came along and said, ah, I've got this petrol stuff that I'm trying to sell, but nobody really wants it because it's crap and, you know, they've got the alcohol, so why do they want my stuff? So I've got to find a way to stop people using the alcohol. So guess what he did? He gave two million dollars at um, I think it was in 1905 or something like that, he gave two two million dollars to the um, Christian right wing movement, and he said to them, "This two million dollars is for you to go out and stop people using alcohol, drinking alcohol, using alcohol. I just want to get rid of alcohol." And they went on their marches and they said, "You know, alcohol is bad. We must get rid of alcohol. We must get rid of alcohol." And they passed an act to prohibit alcohol. So, now the only fuel you could get for your vehicles to drive round in was uh, petrol. So, of course, because alcohol had been banned and, and the only thing you could use was petrol, eventually the uh, alcohol timing switch was eventually taken out of cars because why would you want to use a fuel that wasn't available? So, um, people then forget about the fact that alcohol existed and the whole thing goes into a shrouded little past that um, means today we are reliant on the only fuel that's out there which is petrol. Now strangely enough there's a bit of a movement going on in the United States but I bet you wouldn't have heard much about it and uh, I've got a funny feeling Top Gear might not have covered it but uh, there's a movement to go back to using alcohol because of its benefits to your engine. I mean your engine is going to last four times as long, your oil is going to last ten times as long before it needed to be changed. Um, Basically, uh, some people who use it say that they, they've never changed their oil. You know, they're using alcohol and it, it works fine. Um, the real argument for using alcohol is because of our dependency upon the petrol. And if we went across to using alcohol again, not only would you benefit in more performance in your car, it's a higher octane fuel and it burns with more of an oomph, so you get more performance from your car. Um, the emissions are next to to zero basically which is a little known fact and um, one gentleman who's making his own alcohol and putting it in cars at the moment said he took his car into the um, 
uh, into the garage to have its emissions tested and they stuck the little needle up the exhaust pipe and they thought there was something wrong with the equipment and they were sort of you know cha they changed the the little needle and they were playing with the wires and they said well you know this doesn't make any sense you know there's there's no readings coming from it and then he revealed to them ah well the reason you're not getting any readings is because I run my car on alcohol and they were like oh my god this is amazing and of course this is what people aren't being told they are being told that an alternative fuel to petrol exists and it can be grown in subsist well you know it can be grown in normal farms um, anything that's waste material which would normally get thrown away um, you know can actually be broken down into alcohol so now you've got all these supermarkets with all the food that if, if it's not sold by the end of the day they've got to throw it away they can't sell it to you because it's not classed for human consumption, fit for human consumption, so it goes in the bin. It doesn't get recycled. Now all that food that gets thrown away because they can't sell it to you could be sold to put into the process of making the alcohol fuel. And that's all you need is sugar material, sugar, um, sugar-based, you know, foods and uh, anything that can be broken down basically and you can produce alcohol in a massive scale on very little cost and it works from basically waste materials so it's environmentally friendly and just think places like California where they've got the smog problem because of the particulates in the uh, in the fuel well if you burn alcohol you don't have the particulates you don't have the, um, the nasty chemicals coming out of it and they it just doesn't show up on the emissions meter so why aren't we hearing about this? Um, the conspiracy goes even further why aren't we hearing about it considering that because of the benefits of using alcohol countries like Brazil are nearly all alcohol based and have been for the last 20 years but you don't hear people talking about this why is this? well of course Brazil can you know they, they produce um, three quarters of the world f world's food comes from Brazil you know it's a massive growing country why the hell would they want to pay high petrol prices um, when they can actually grow their own food and turn it into alcohol it would be stupid to do anything else and they just said well you know screw petrol we don't want petrol so why aren't we hearing about this I mean you know it's uh, it's a conspiracy on a, a gargantuan scale and I want to know why we're not hearing about this and I want to know why my car doesn't run on alcohol why I can't buy alcohol at the fuel pumps you know, especially with the low emissions it gives out, we should be hearing about this. So there's your conspiracy. And uh, I've moved my computer around so you can now see my werewolf mask up there, which is uh, uh, kind of fun. So hope this has been interesting for you. And uh, fight the conspiracy and fight to get some alcohol at the petrol pumps.